Hey, what's up, guys? You know, I um, do this every once in a while. There's um, a couple of uh, joys that come along with uh, playing these kind of games that um, you might not really um, understand or recognize if you don't play them yourself. There are reasons why I love playing uh, baseball simulators, and um, I think that we saw one of the big ones here in this game as we played through, that is, this uh, morning's game. There was a, a situation earlier in this game we go back here. This is why I love uh, Skeeter Salt, because we can go back and go through it all. The situation happened here in the bottom of the seventh inning. So uh, the Tigers had a one nothing lead. Boston didn't have really much going all game. Lord grounded out. Sullivan hit a double, and then there was another double by Krigger, and so that tied it. Kravis then uh, got a single, and that put runners on at uh, second and third. And that brought up Eddie Seacott, and that was the big question, if you remember right. The question that we had was, well... We can look at these cards here. You have uh, Krigger and Kravath on base. Krigger um, is slow. He's the catcher. Um, the problem with this slow rating is that um, it means that he can get thrown out of home quite a bit. Kravath was the uh, next guy coming up. There's uh, Gavi. I should be showing you this, shouldn't I? Here we go. This is uh, the screen that I'm talking about here. We'll go back here for a second. So um, in this game that we just played, you can see right here, um, next to my face. Let's uh, move this over just a little bit. You can see sort of that play-by-play uh, -play result. There we go. And we're looking here at the seventh inning. So Sullivan hit the double. Kruger doubled him home. That was a tie ball game. Kravath then hit a single. Um, and uh, the runner went to third. I'm sorry, there was runners on first and third. Here's Kruger's card. He has that S, right? So he's slow. Kravath, the man on first base, did not have an S, but um, didn't have any sort of 11s. We um, try not to hit and run if they don't have an 11 because if the batter strikes out or walks, chances are good that the guy's going to be, at first, is going to be caught stealing. It's a little bit different with runners on first and third, but it's not that much different. The uh, problem that we have when we go over here to the boards and we look at the uh, bunt play with runners on second or third, um, I'm just going to do a quick look through this and see if there's anything about S's. You know what? There's nothing actually about having an S on a third base. So it might actually be beneficial in that case, even if the guy is slow to bunt anyway. I was always under the um, a, a impression that a slow runner is somebody who you might not want to bunt with. But as I'm looking through this, I'm realizing that actually that's not the case at all. So next time we know that we can actually safely bunt in that situation. That's what we did here at first with Seacod. He rolled the 36, which was a pass ball that scored a run and sent a runner over to second base. Now that did it and that made it a two to one game. But that was a key moment of this ball game, right? Because up to this point, Eddie Seacott had been pitching well, given up though that one run. And this is the question, which is, I mean, as the Red Sox, are you going to come up with a situation again? Are you going to live to see another day? Is this going to be the best opportunity you have all game? And if it is, do you really want to throw it away just because you wanted to see the pitcher throw a complete game? That's the sort of uh, decision you have to make. And that's the sort of thing that I just love about this because it's so fascinating. You don't see it all the time in today's game, right? But you see a little bit of it in today's game. I will say that. You do see decisions made about relief pitchers. Do you bring this guy in? Do you leave that guy out? What exactly do you do? And it's still interesting, but it's not quite the same as it is in this kind of situation where you have a bullpen you don't really trust, right? Now, I don't know. Maybe the Red Sox do have a pretty good bullpen. I don't even know it, right? But, uh, you know, that's the thing that we're looking at, which is, uh, you know, is the guy who's going to come on in relief actually better than the guy who's pitching well? And Seacott had pitched well up to that point. So that's the question that you ask. I don't know. You can say one way or another. But if you ask me at the end of the day why it is that I love these games, it's situations like that that make me makes me really love it. Now, it's hard because you're trying to manage both teams at once. There's an argument that maybe Donovan should have come out of the game. I really doubt it, though. I don't think that would have really done much to help the Red Sox cause. In fact, in the eighth inning, when we let him hit, he hit an infield single, and that put runners on at first and second with the start, the top of the order coming up, and uh, Crawford struck out, McIntyre flew out. You know, look at the box score, and you can kind of see here. I mean, look, Donovan's hitting 353. He's the best hitter on their team. Why would you want to take him out of the game for a pinch hitter, right? And so it is, 1.42 ERA, and just hard luck here, giving up two runs, eight innings, and... Um, uh, the two runs are more than the uh, Tigers could produce offensively. Anyway, so there you go. That's really the reason why I love it. I love these kind of situations that come up where you have to use actual strategy. You have to kind of think about what it is that you're doing.
right? As I said, you know, with the modern game, I hate to say this about modern baseball, but a lot of it has become kind of like textbook by the book and stuff like that. Cool thing about the game in older times is that you look at this and you think, I might never have this opportunity again. I better do something right now to uh, make this work. Uh, we're going to have to fight for a run instead of uh, sitting back and just waiting and seeing what it gives us. So anyway, that's just my humble opinion. I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.